Good morning, folks. We've got a couple top news stories to hit today. We're on the weather, the sun, and a sprinkle of geomagnetism. We'll start, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on our star very quiet. The sun isn't flaring or releasing more than minor CMEs in Earth's direction, all weak and sparse. All is quiet geomagnetically, so let's go to the tornado outbreak in the United States yesterday. The powerful lightning signatures on a thin line are one of the best satellite signatures of that power. It forms because on the southeast leading edge of the low pressure cell, winds crash together and their temperature, moisture, dust content, and electric potential have to rapidly equalize as the winds are ground together on their way into the low cell. That is one of the key triggers for such tremendous outbreaks, and it's going to happen again tonight. Eyes on alert. Let's go to snow. And yes, they love telling us how much spring snow is on the decline due to global warming, and they pretend the surging autumn snowfall doesn't exist. For those who care about all the data, tiebreaker goes to the snow increase as winter remains on the trend upward with the 2022 marks officially on the list now. Folks, if you didn't catch last night's video, it's a good one. There is climate, volcanic, and geomagnetic evidence for the event 6,000 years ago, the last half cycle event. And in the vein of the varying paleo intensity record shown in that video, turns out that for those of you who generally believe that paleo intensity marks can be generally deduced, but the various methods are imperfect and produce wildly different results the more of them you use. This study showed just how true that statement is. Bet that would have been helpful when looking at the chart in last night's video, huh? Bringing it home with our star, sunspot area directly correlates with solar flare size. A complementary factor is the magnetic classification. It's one of the key reasons to watch the sunspots and their magnetic character. Up next, I want to introduce Dr. Hussein. He's one of the top three solar terrestrial physicists in the Middle East and is here today with one on solar forcing of temperatures and another on the solar forcing of thunderstorms. Both of these are well-published concepts in the literature from other parts of the world, but virtually none exist by comparison from Iraq and the greater Middle East. We greatly appreciate your support. Watch the climate playlist linked below the video to learn more on the role of the sun. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.